Today we're going to travel through the state of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania was the second state to join the United States. Pennsylvania was one of the 13 colonies that fought Great Britain in the American Revolution. The United States Declaration of Independence was signed in Philadelphia in 1776. Benjamin Franklin, an important figure in the Revolution, was also from Philadelphia. You might be wondering, where is Pennsylvania? It is in the northeastern part of the country. It borders with Ohio on the west, West Virginia on the south and west, Maryland and Delaware on the south, New Jersey on the east, and New York and Lake Erie on the north. Did you know that the first baseball stadium was built in Pittsburgh in 1909? The chocolate capital of the United States is in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The first computer existed in Philadelphia in 1946. The first piano in America was built in Philadelphia in 1775. The Philadelphia Zoo was the first public zoo in the United States. Philadelphia was once the capital city of the United States before it moved to Washington, D.C. The first daily newspaper was published in Philadelphia in 1784. The State College Area High School was the first college in the country to teach driver's education in 1958. And last but not least, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania is the home to the world famous weather forecasting groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil. With the help of our trusty travel guide, we had mapped out an itinerary of the things we wanted to do. The first stop was the state capital that is located in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Check out their state flag. The state was established on December 12, 1787. That was 236 years ago. Woo, that was a long time ago. While we were in the state capital, we saw the state seal and also read their state motto, which says, Virtue, Liberty, and Independence. We also saw the state song on display. My brother read the state song to me. The song Pennsylvania was written by Eddie Corey and Ronnie Bonner. It was designated the official state song of Pennsylvania in 1990. The first verse says, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, mighty is your name, steeped in glory and tradition, object of acclaim, where brave men fought the foe of freedom, tyranny decried, till the bell of independence filled the countryside. The chorus says, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, may your future be filled with honor everlasting as our history. There is a second verse, but I'll let you read that for yourself. We also saw the state coat of arms, which resembled the state flag and contained the words virtue, liberty, and independence. While walking through the Capitol building, we found out that their state nickname is the Keystone State because it is the middle colony of the original 13 colonies and because Pennsylvania has held a key position in economic, social, and political development in the United States. We also found out that the state's origin means Penn's Woods or Penn's Land. Quaker William Penn was granted the tract of land by King Charles II of England in 1681 as repayment of debt owed to Penn's father, Admiral William Penn. Originally, Penn suggested Sylvania Woods woodland for his land. We found out from looking at all the car tags that their state colors are blue and gold. Nice colors. After we left the Capitol building, Mom wanted to visit the Morris Arboretum and Gardens, which is the state's Arboretum and Gardens of Pennsylvania. While we were there, we saw the state flower, which is the Mountain Laurel. Next, we located the state plant, which is the Pen Gift Crown Vetch. It is a beautiful plant with lots of little flowers on it. Along with a lot of other plants, flowers, and trees, we located the state tree that is the eastern hemlock, 
It is a very pretty tree. Next on our itinerary were the local landmarks. The first place we visited was the State Theater, the Walnut Theater. We found out you could see lots of great plays there. We got lucky and found out that the Philly Pops Orchestra was playing at the park and we managed to go see them. They sounded wonderful. They are the state's official pop orchestra. Another landmark we saw was the Route 18 signs leading us to Highway 18. Finally, we drove to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and visited the Liberty Bell. It was so neat to actually see such an historic landmark. Guess what? It really does have a huge crack in it. Dad took us driving through the countryside and we stopped at an agricultural center and found out from a tour guide that the state soil is Hazleton soil. We learned that it represents the diversity of Pennsylvania being used for forestry, agriculture, mining, and infrastructure support. While we were at the Ag Center, we visited their general store and gift shop. We all decided to have some snacks and drinks. We enjoyed a glass of milk, which is the state beverage. We also enjoyed cookies. The state is still deciding on their state cookies, so we had some of all three choices. Chocolate chip, sugar cookies, and oatmeal cookies. They were all delicious. The general store also had some of the state fruit, which is the Rhode Island Greening Apple. Mom bought us a sack of apples for us to enjoy later. The next thing on the itinerary was to visit the Piper F3 Cub Flying Club. My dad is a pilot and he wanted to check out this awesome airplane, which is the state's official aircraft. We next drove to Lake Erie and visited the U.S. Brig Niagara, which is the state's flagship. It was a great experience. While we were there, we also saw an exhibit of the state's firearm, the Pennsylvania Long Rifles. They were awesome and really long. Finally, we visited the Locomotive Museum and saw the state's two locomotives. We got to check out the K-4 steam locomotives. We also got to check out the GG14859 electric locomotive. Both were amazing. The last thing we went in search of was the state's animals our travel guide talked about. We stopped at the Audubon Zoo. The first thing we saw was the state bird, the rough grouse. Very unique bird. The zoo had a huge aquarium and we saw the state fish, which is the brook trout. Very pretty fish. We also saw the state amphibian, which is the eastern hellbender salamander. I have to say, it was a scary looking animal. The Audubon Zoo also had a display of fossils. We saw lots of trilobites, which is the state's fossil. They were really interesting, and we got to touch one that was petrified in stone. On our drive back to the hotel, we saw several of the state's mammals, which were the white-tailed deer. They can run really fast. Next to our hotel was a little park, and a guest there had one of the state's dogs, a Great Dane. Man, that dog was huge. It started to get dark, so we were heading back to our room. We spotted some of the state's insects. Firefly! We tried to catch them, but didn't have much luck. They are quick. On checkout, I visited the gift shop, and my parents let me buy an official Pennsylvania State toy. It was a slinky. I know I'll have lots of fun playing with it. We had a great time on our trip to Pennsylvania and plan to come again one day. Until then, goodbye. If you get a chance to visit Pennsylvania, I hope you will do so. They are a great state that has a lot to offer. Thank you for learning with me today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. 
We hope you'll join us again soon for another lesson on Wonder of Learning. Until then, bye-bye.